Welcome to Veliko Tornovo, Bulgaria, everybody. This town has been populated for over 5,000 years and is still going strong with a population of almost 90,000. This may be a place for digital nomads to consider staying as well as a place that expats looking for a home in Bulgaria might want to consider for a long-term residency and to stay and explore Europe from. So stick around and let's check it out. So here we are in our Airbnb in Veliko Tanovo. And lots of storage area. Dogs are happy to be here. Nice living room, living area, TV. We do have an outside balcony this direction. And coming over this way. We have a separate shower part. So this is the shower. And then we have the bedroom. A separate balcony area where there's a refrigerator, stovetop, a little oven. This is part of the kitchen. And inside is the rest of the kitchen with the sink. There's a dishwasher over here, a washing machine. We have the microwave and dishes. A little couch in here that we're utilizing right now to unpack. But Julie, what did we uh, pay on bookings.com for this little place? This was Airbnb.com, but it is located on booking.com as well. Sorry, I'm out of breath. $138 total, I believe. We'll put that in the description. And that was for how long? That's seven days. Seven days for $138. And guys, this is a big apartment. I'm really impressed. Yes, I'm out of breath because it is a walk-up, but uh, fantastic. Yes, four flights up the stairs. There's an elevator, but um, it is a good-sized place, so we'll be here for a week. One of the major draws to the Veliko Tornovo area is the Sarabets Fortress, which was the capital of the Second Bulgarian Empire. We did a video completely focused on this topic, so we won't delve into it here. But go check out that video if you haven't. But after a day of exploring, we decided to go to lunch in what would be considered a tourist area right outside the fortress. So let's look at the cost and what we got. So I've got my baked potato meal, a bear. Julie's finishing up her shopska salad and a bowl of soup. And we'll show you the tab here in just a moment. So here's my baked potato. It's a little bit different style than the US, but it's a uh, baked potato with cheese and mushrooms and chives. The cost of this meal was $23.55 Bulgarian, otherwise it was $14.70 in the US dollar. Food here we don't see as being really cheap compared to a lot of places we've been in, uh, Serbia or Montenegro or Ecuador, but the cost of housing is where this area shines. So if you wanted to buy a home here, it's quite affordable, and I think that's where you really get the biggest bang for your dollar if you were looking at coming to Veliko Tornovo or to Bulgaria, that housing is where you really save on cost. So you can see as we're looking through this window that some of these costs of these homes were pretty inexpensive. Our next meal out, we went to Ego, which is in Veliko Tornovo. And this was a favorite of Matt and Molly's, a couple of YouTubers from Dabble and Travel. Their uh, video channel link will be in the video description. This place had a fantastic view out the back balcony. We unfortunately, because we brought our dogs, could not take advantage of that beautiful balcony, but we had a great meal out front. So let's check it out. Okay, so over here we've got a couple pizzas. Coffee. Coffee, <laughs> being, being really, really healthy. So Matt and Molly got the uh, pizzas. Are they good? They're good, they're good. We've had them here once before. Twice. Twice before. <laughs> so it must mean they're pretty good. Okay. And Julie's got her legendary Shapska salad. I have potatoes coming too. Okay. Do you have that all the time? I'm still waiting on my food, so you'll see that in a second. Okay, and my veggie burger is here. So we had a 30.80 total for Matt and Molly and 29.70 for Julie and I. Yeah. And I'll give that translation into Bulgarian left. If you just walk on the main road and go around and you can cut across, that has the best view looking back here. Oh, how lovely. So you should definitely take a walk over there today. 
and I think that was the first. Was it the first suspended bridge in yes, Bulgaria? It was the first suspended bridge in Bulgaria. Oh, really? That so we're getting a uh, tour from uh, Dabble and Travel. <laughs> I've got all my Wikipedia facts from a few days ago, fresh in mind. It's an unbelievable size building, isn't it? One of the sad areas of the landscape was this massive construction of a hotel that was built during the communist era that basically is just a shell of a ghost building at this point. But the view, the punch bowl type look of the buildings circling the river, looking down at the Essen monument was pretty incredible. The homes have the Ottoman style, many of them going up multiple floors. They were taxed by how much land space they took up. So rather than sprawling out, most had a small postage stamp piece of land and the rooms in the building just went upward. Sometimes you wouldn't know the size or how many floors of a room or a house until you were looking at it from the hillside and looking back. We crossed the suspension bridge that was previously mentioned going across the river toward the Yassin Monument, which was a spectacular sight from looking back from Baleka Ternovo down at the river at it, but actually being up next to the statues becomes even more impressive. There's a large church as you approach, and it makes for a magnificent entryway as you enter towards this monument. This monument was built in 1987, and it's gorgeous. Pretty impressive statues, don't you think? Oh yes, definitely, they are. It's a beautiful day here, and a lot of work went into making these statues. I'm gonna give you a little bit more information about them um, via text, but uh, it's nice. Um, hope you appreciate the, uh, the close-ups here. This Asin Dynasty monument was very impressive. It looks down on the Yant River and back towards the old town where you can see those Ottoman homes we mentioned. The statues are the first four Asin rulers, Ivan, Peter, Kellerian, and Asin II. Each is riding a horse that's raised back up on its hind legs. They're raising their swords and swinging their swords and they're circling a larger sword that points towards the sun. This was commemorating the second Bulgarian dynasty that ruled the area for 200 years and where Veliko Tornovo was the capital of the Bulgarian Empire until it was crushed by the Ottomans and sent them into an almost 800 year dark period of being ruled by the Ottomans. So this statue was built in commem commemoration of that empire back when Bulgaria was great and ruled the area under these kings. Again, looking back at the city, you'll see how these towns, or how the town rises up from small postage stamp sized areas. Some of these buildings have their top floor as their opening onto the street. So you actually go down from their actual entrance. Now, as a reminder, Julie and I were traveling the world with our two dogs, trying to show what it's like to live somewhere and expose you to different areas of the world. So if you're an expat and you're looking for a place to reside, maybe we'll open up some ideas for you. And if you're a digital nomad looking for your next place to call home, follow along and we'll show you what we discover. So we're glad that you joined us and we hope you give this video a like. We hope that you'll subscribe. And until next time, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.